So if you found out that your water connection is using lead pipes and you want to get rid of them, well that's amazing. We're behind you 100% in spirit and 25% up to $2,500 in replacement costs. All right, enough of that cheesy graphic. Here's everything you need to know about the process. First, you'll need to find a contractor to replace the pipes. Contact Halifax Water for a list of contractors that can conveniently replace both the public portion and the private portion of your service line in one go. There are other contractors you can hire to replace your own pipes, but maybe check out some Yelp reviews first. Next, get a permit. Most contractors will fill this out on your behalf, but always double check because the responsibility of getting that permit ultimately falls onto you. And now we watch the magic happen. Once that lead pipe is replaced and before the new pipes are covered back up, contact Halifax Water to schedule a free inspection. They'll make sure that the pipes have been installed properly and update their own database. And that's about it. Now there are some temporary safety precautions you want to take after you've replaced your lead pipes. Immediately after construction, turn on all your cold water taps to the highest settings, working your way from the lowest level to the highest level in your house. Do this for approximately 60 minutes to remove any lead particles or sediment that might have become dislodged during construction. This might seem excessive, but it's much better to be safe than sorry. Also, it'll only cost you another $3 or so on your next water bill, so just hold off on buying a latte for a day or something. Hey. After the 60 minutes, remove and clean all faucet aerators that you might have, as lead particles and sediment can build up on the screen. Every day, for 30 days after construction, Flush out your plumbing by opening at least one cold water faucet for 10 minutes. After doing that, remove and clean the faucet aerators. For 6 months after construction, only use cold tap water for cooking and drinking, as using hot tap water could release more lead from the plumbing. If you haven't used your water for more than 6 hours, flush the cold water tap for 5 minutes before drinking and cooking. Every now and then, remove and clean all faucet aerators. If you are pregnant, breastfeeding, or have children under the age of 6, it's recommended that you use a household water filter that is certified to remove lead from drinking water for the 6 months. Now understandably, this is a lot of work and it'll cost you some money, but at the end of the day, you can rest easy knowing that your water is completely safe, and that will feel refreshing. <laughs>